Okay, time for another new filament, another PETG. So we have a specific project we're working on with PETG. We need more, more strength and uh, better temperature resistance. So this should be an overture PETG. We've been printing with the gray version and finally getting that dialed in. So it's got a nice vacuum on it. Let's open this up. There's overture that comes in. It came with a uh, desiccant pack. That's good. So it's, uh, <clears throat> it says nozzle temperature 230 to 250. We've been printing about 238, 240 maybe. I'm still working on that. Bed temperature 80 to 90. Otherwise it, it pulls away from the bed. So I'm printing with 80 right now. I may go to 90. So it's uh, 1.75 diameter. And it's a one kilogram reel, standard size. And it's got this handy gauge here, which I didn't notice before. I'm doing mostly things by weight though. I weigh it and then we figure out how much we use by weighing before and after each print. That's much more accurate than using this. So. All right, so we'll uh, do the standard temperature test, temperature tower and uh, bed adhesion and layer adhesion tests we've been doing. We have a good start with the gray, but it's always good to verify it with a different uh, color because there are additives to get the different colors, so there may be different characteristics. Let's go ahead and weigh our new Overture PETG reel, so I'll put it on grams. But we don't have an empty one of these, so we don't know exactly how much the reel weighs. So nominally it's 1225. So one, 1.225 kilograms. So we can, this type of size of reel is about 200 uh, grams-ish. So it sounds like we're in the ballpark anyway. Until we actually use up, uh, use up one of these, though, we don't know exactly how much the reel itself weighs because each manufacturer is different. But once you have one from one manufacturer, you can reuse that to get a very super accurate uh, measurement of how much uh, reel you have left. This is a nice reel. It's got three different uh, places around the reel to put your uh, the end of your uh, filament in. Some only have two, and then they're all they're in the same place. If at least if they had two and it was one on opposite sides, it'd be a lot more useful. So this is a nice reel for uh, from Overture. So this we haven't really used that much Overture. This is only the second one, so we'll see how it goes. See how it turned out. I printed this from 236 to 246 because <clears throat> because we've been printing we printed the uh, gray at uh, 240. So. Well, 246 looks pretty good. I'm not sure they'd be less sagging at uh, 246 than there is at, I guess maybe it sticks together better. 246 looks pretty good. <laughs> pretty 236, okay, if you look at the very top, <coughs> the, uh, you know, it filled in this flat area nicely. Hmm. These temperatures, 246 looks the best. I think I want to try going lower though. See what happens. So I'll start at um, 238 and go down from there. 
and we'll see how it does at lower temperatures. I want to get this dialed in because I'm going to be printing a lot of this, so I want to make sure it's dialed in. See how this one turned out. So this one it goes from 230 to 240. So the last one, I think I said 236 was the best, but it was actually 238. So see if 238 is the good on this one. So we're using 80 degree uh, bed temperature. So the other thing we're doing is uh, we're doing 20% uh, fan speed on layer two. And we're printing at uh, 300 uh, millimeters per minute, 3,000 millimeters per minute, yeah. And we're moving, it was non-printing at 6,000. I read somewhere that for PETG, it's better to print a little slower and move a little faster to prevent uh, uh, dripping. Well, I'd have to say the 240 looks the best here, so. This is the one we printed last time. 240 is right here, so I had some dripping, but I did change a few parameters like the <coughs> fan speed and the printing speed. I increased the printing speed and decreased the fan speed. So I think we're going to print at 240. The nominal range for this filament on the Real says from 230 to 250, so we're going to print right in the middle, 240. And we'll go ahead and print at 3,000 millimeters per second and move at 6,000. And we'll use fan speed of 20% uh, starting on layer 2 and 80 degrees on the bed temperature. Let's go ahead and print our bed and uh, layer adhesion test, and then we'll know whether these are the right parameters. pretty clean. It was, the flow at the beginning wasn't super good, but it's coming off easy, uh, nicely, let's say. Not too easily. And the strength is there. I'm squeezing hard. So that's good. So we've got a lot, really good layer adhesion. That's what I'm always worried about. And the, uh, it's hard to see with this black, but the indented lettering is good and the embossed lettering is also good. Okay, so I think we're going to stick with those parameters. 240 for the nozzle and uh, 80 degrees for the bed. So to do our fun print, we're going to do Kelly Cat, which is very similar to what we're going to be printing for real after we're done with our testing. All right. Looks perfect. This might be the best Kelly Cat yet. off the right resistance. Look at that definition. Wow. There's one little string here between the tail and the uh, body, but other than that, bottom looks super clean. Overhangs, 45 degree overhangs work perfectly. There's one, well, there's a little string from where the where the uh, printhead came off the print at the very end, but look at that. Cali Cat. He's a happy cat because he came out perfect. All right, so this uh, black PETG from Overture looks like it's high quality and uh, is going to work uh, for what we need it for. All right. Cali Cat's happy, so am I.
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.